Welcome back everyone, it's Lala, and it is the peak of the next year planner <laughs> frenzy. And yes, so everyone is uh, doing, you know, business owners are making their announcements, they're showing off their new products for the 2025, uh, doing pre-releases, um, pre-orders, sneak peeks, um, some have their stuff already in their stores and ready and i'm talking about online stores because there just really aren't that many stores available for us to go into back in the good old days of like franklin uh covey franklin planner um when we used to be able to go to the mall and go to the franklin um store and touch and feel it anything all that stuff um at least here in the u.s but if you're lucky to be in Japan, you are able to experience going into the store, isn't it? So I am showing my first um, order for 2025. And what we have here is my planner. Um, that is the plotter, uh, the plotter binder, plotter brand. I got a little spots of who knows what, but I've had this binder now for couple of years now um and it is leather and plotter's known for this like brass like metal plate on the um outside spine of the planner and or binder cover and we have the word plotter there for the company and it has um you know signs of wear but this still looks good. And I can't remember what the name of this specific uh, leather is. But, I mean, it's, I mean, it still looks good. Um, and, again, I've had it for several years. I mean, we got a little, rim. now, this is a little remnant for, for my leather handbag from Portland Leather. These little brownish looking things. Um, because inside of the leather is pretty raw looking, but yeah, um, so this is my plotter and I use it, um, primarily for projects. Um, and right now I have one of the to-do sheets here in the front and not in one of these project manager folders, um, because this is a very important project, um, that has many steps for me, um, professionally um so um yeah uh, so the main things i use in here are going to be their sheets and i have um the um some decorative stuff from cloth and paper um and then i have each section um, that i want to keep you know with me and i have more several other sections um, that are in my ring binder um, my bigger ring binder that is, um, that I just don't need with me every day. Right. So I have, this is GTD. Um, so I have some GTD printables in here for mommy plans, personal stuff. So this would be like personal stuff, personal projects, things I'm working on, maybe things for my home. We'll have one for social media in here. And then I have one here for collections. And so I like the system because I'm able to like create these file systems um, in my actual planner. And then more inserts from cloth and paper with some of the pages from the um, like monthly or weekly that have these pictures from Plotter. And I like using them as part of my dashboard. And I think it looks pretty cool underneath. And then I always purchase um, the monthly um, inserts. Um, yes, so this is for 2024, it has the chart. Now, I'm not gonna show you one that's filled out with stuff because it's gonna have a lot of personal things. Um, but, you know, I can go to like, here's December of this year. And you can't really see it in, on camera, I don't think, but um, this is, really tiny um, grids um, on the pages. Yeah, 
and the weekends are stacked. Not really my favorite thing about um, the monthlies, but I end up not putting a whole lot on the monthlies anyway. So it hasn't really been a problem when it comes down to it. And because of the way that the month of December um, flows, I have to do boxes available here, here, and down on the bottom. So each month is going to be um, different. So for the month of November, I only have this upper part available. And this part is available here too because the first of November is a Friday. But yeah, each month is going to be a little different. And yeah, I have some personal things already started on the month of October. And this is Plotter's own paper called DP. Um, it is very thin. It uh, feels delicious <laughs> um, and um, very light and thin. And um, you can see some shadowing. Um, and depending on your pen, you might have a little bleed through. <clears throat> but otherwise, I really don't have uh, much problems. And I, I could care less about shadowing. I, I really don't care. Um, so anyway, and then I have um, in the back, I have, you know, just some various uh, pages, which are also plotter. We have these little um, small ones. And it has actually um, imprinted the actual um, product number. So this is... Uh, in zero 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 three and then dash C and so I have some plotter dot grid several pages in here the dot grid I like their dot grid and I believe I have some lined it's practicing my Korean alphabet here um, these are line which actually has the numbers 1 through 24 so you can actually use this like a daily um, diary and there are these little dashes um, top and bottom in the middle and actually each line then has these kind of little longer dashes that way you can actually split the page up easily um, wherever you want okay <clears throat> and then you can see on the back of the dot grid um, the product number this is going to be um, NO023B and the lined, um, this is um, NO005-B and I believe these grid, tiny grid pages, um, these may have been a part of like the monthly and that's NO001B for the tiny, tiny grid paper. And yeah, and then I have, you know, just the plotter um, page thingamabob. <laughs> and it has the pin holder on it. Um, I have their ring protector kind of thing so that I don't get the significant indents on the, uh, on the actual binder. So that's what these things are for. And then... Um, yeah, and then the last, let me just see. Okay. Then the last one, um, and I really forgot what these are called, but this is part of Plotter. Um, this it has the band so that I can close it up. And Plotter has these really tiny rings, but this is a um, Bible size. Um, and Bible size then would compare to the personal size all right and so with plotter you can use as you can see i have coffin paper um stuff in here i have some printables in here um i probably have more pages in here than is listed to fit in here and the way that i'm able to do it where it's not straining the rings um is um for any other non-planner plotter papers i took my page cutter and cut as close as possible to up to the um, the ring holes to then put them on the rings and that helps so you don't have the, any unnecessary extra paper and just so you understand what I mean um, so because I got some personal things um, let me just 
Let me just go to the plotter paper. So, um, so that I don't have any extra paper on um, the inside that goes into the rings, I would cut as close as I could to these ring holes, right? And to eliminate any unnecessary room being taken to fit on these rings. And then I was able to put more stuff like my dividers or other paper. Okay. All right. I spent enough time talking about that. So anyway, I, I, I looked on the plotter website last week and saw that they now have their 2025 dated inserts available. And this is noisy. My order, um, I believe I ordered Friday and Plotter USA is located in California. As you can see here, we got a uh, Signal Hill, California, Plotter USA. So the order to me in the West Coast in Oregon got here really fast. It came yesterday, yesterday being Monday. I just didn't go out to my mailbox till the evening. Um, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what I have and why I've ordered what I have. I'm also gonna show you my original box that my plotter came in a number of years ago, probably about three years ago. Um, um, I had I keep I kept the box and I just put all my um, inserts um, in here. I keep all my extras. Here's some more of their task manager folders, and I keep everything in here that's plotter. Yeah, including these extra little pages because um, I can use them again as part of my dashboard, which I love. Um, but all my papers uh, that I originally got are in here. So I have the rule, the rule, the refill memo pad. They come in pads if you're not already familiar with the plotter products. Um, and the ruled one, six millimeter ruled, <laughs> ruled is number 005. And it will have the Bible size um, indicated on these that I've ordered before. And it gives you some um, information about plotter. You know, what does plotter mean? And um, it talks about tools to make drawings and designs, those who change the context. Um, tools for change makers, Meth methodology for thinking, planner, organizer. I did not read that in order. <laughs> but the back is is this black card stock thing. So, and the um, top of it is cardstock, but it's not as, as solid as this. So I'm gonna tell you, uh, Plotter, um, which is also a part of the conglomerate, larger company um, that I believe also is um, affiliated also to with Traveler's Company. Um, so this is meant to be you could take this with you so here we got all the pages in here right and then they come out and that's what i usually do is i just take some pages out and i put them in the plotter binder um however you could take this and use this all day because it's it's in this bound book and they have a wonderful way of how, how it's glued i mean just look how um the spine of this it looks just n nice and neat it almost looks like I don't know, like it's just all one piece, um, but it's not. It's really nice, and but yeah, you could take this with you and write, 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 and then you can pull out the pieces and either put them in one of these task manager folders or, or project folders or, or not, or put it in a different binder. Um, again, the size I order is personal size for your non plotter binders. Okay, um, so these are the stuff I already had, right? Um, I have uh, the dot grid here, number to 023. The to do's, which is my favorite. Um, and I always just buy more of these. I love these, okay? And this is gonna be the, your 006. And then here's the packaging for the monthly 
Um, this is the packaging for the 006 to do. Um, and here are those refill memo pad. This is just plain and it says card size. And if you look at the plotter site, um, plotter is actually coming out with more of the binder sizes that they have had available only in Japan. Um, do check the website for any information, okay? Um, this is what I've ordered for 2025, all right? Um, now, let's start with the to-dos. Like I said, I reorder the to-dos in the Bible size, okay? So these are going to be those, um, you know, task you get well you can use these any kind of way i've used these for i'm logging the books i'm reading so i create collections for the books i use these for projects um like right now i have a major project i'm working on professionally um you i can i use these for if i'm um when i was moving here and i'm starting from fresh with furniture and everything and just you know creating um, different, a sectioned list for different areas of my apartment, things I want and need, so on and so forth. Um, daily to-dos. What I like to do is, this is pretty much all in J Japanese, and this gives you some ideas. Weekly tasks, and this is projects. They have daily tasks, and so they give you these um, ideas on the actual insert um, sample and I just take my phone and I open up that translate app and I like to <laughs> see what this stuff means and it's really fun to me so I never throw these things away but um, here's more of the to do's right the whole pad and I could just take this and I can just you know write everything down i can even take notes on this i can do use it any other kind of way and what's really unique about this is for um you have this slash here where you can put the date or you can number it if you want um it says mission so i can put the title or whatever it is i'm working on and then each line here then is followed up with this um these boxes here that are split in half and it says zero percent and there's a dash 50 and then dash 100 and then a big check mark check mark box um you could use this any kind of way you want you can draw on the line if you're actually working on a project and that's a way of you tracking how far you are with that project like they have done here where they draw on that middle line right um, and you can even do this where you are, you can use it as a sleep tracker and you could, there's eight boxes here, right? So you can put, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then you can, each box represents an hour and you could color it in or check it in. And then you can use the big box for the total amount of hours that you slept, you know, and I'm going to say this. I just now thought of that. <laughs> I just now thought of that idea. If somebody else has had that idea before and used it. Okay, cool. But I haven't seen anybody talk about using that like like a sleep tracker. Um, but it totally makes sense. Or a water tracker. So you can make a page like your health. You can use it for exercise and list, and then make it where you are may just write over the whole box section what your exercise is so you monday through saturday sunday and then you can write arms legs you know running or biking and then if you did that then you could check it off or whatever anyway so these are two do lists now i also ordered these same inserts in the narrow size so they have uh, a binder and i got makeup on my fingernail um, they have a binder it, that's the narrow size. And really the narrow size, when I was first looking at buying a plotter, the narrow size was the one that I was considering. 
And here they have the same example. Okay. But I recently saw a video where someone used the narrow size in their Bible size as a running, like a this week running task list. I was like, why didn't I think of that? So for example, I could have my dot grid page, or how about we say the line pages, the ruled. And I want to take this ruled one because it has a 24 hour timeline set up already. One through 24, 24 hours. I could have that as my daily. And then I could take the narrow size to do list. And I could have my running task looks. I can even put it where the goals for the week and the first part. And then I could have then use the rest as a running task list. Um, and then I would have, and it's double sided, so I could use both sides. Maybe I might have a note I want to keep on the very front. Um, and then I would put seven um, or Actually, it's front and back for this. I put, what, three, um, four, four of these pages of the ruled together. So I would have my, my weekly and my daily and, and do it like that. And then I could actually split this up. I can use one of these um, line, one of these little... things <laughs> markers to split this in half or split it up so I can just put where I have appointments because I'm a mental health therapist so I have appointments with clients phone calls um, other meetings whatever and so then I can use this side I don't need the whole page I can use this side for um, all the appointments everything I know that is set and then the other side of the page can be um, to do's for this day and then notes or you know however you would normally use a daily um, and but then I would still have this readily there for me to flip because it's not going to cover up my my Monday page and I can see oh let me get this done because I got time you know at two o'clock anyway so I thought that was so smart of the idea I saw on that YouTube channel. And I, sorry, I don't know whose channel that was, but it was a great video. And I said, that is what I'm going to do. Okay. So I have the to do in the Bible and in the, um, the narrow size. All right. And then what else did I order? I ordered... The um, monthly, again, for for this um, new year, 2025, and I'm going to say, Plotter hasn't changed the format. Nothing's changed. As far as I can tell, nothing's changed about the layouts that they're using. Um, you know, with other companies, you know, they have these updates, you know, um, to their, their planners. There are notebooks and things like that, new and improved. Um, Plotter, I guess, is like, hey, if it ain't broke, no need to fix it. Um, and so um, we have here, we have a you know example sample page for the monthly, which is great because you can get some great ideas off of the sample page. Okay. Um, and then it goes into the uh, calendar year at a glance. Um, for 2025, the day of the weeks are up here with the Sunday in the orange color. All right, and then you can see the month's number is the large. And then there's something here in Japanese, and I'm going to figure out what that is later. <clears throat> and then um, it has 2026 on the opposite side. And this is a great way to kind of reference... Um, 
the following year if you have some major things coming up or you're trying to plan something for the following year and then it goes into um, like the the um, the to do's you can see here it has the same format except on the in the monthly um, set it says annual mission and this is where I put and just so you guys see it that's where I will put some goals um, some major goals for the year okay what I did was this year and I can't show you but um, I put um, because I the amount of PTO paid time off benefits I have every year I put like quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter four um, vacation scheduled uh, or time off scheduled um, that helps me stay accountable to myself to make sure I am taking time off for myself because as a mental health therapist you know we need to um, take care of ourselves because we're in there to assist people you know, every day. And sometimes it can become a bit much if we don't um, take care of ourselves. We can get burnout. So the inserts are going to start with December of this year. And just like I was saying, depending on how the month flows, um, you'll see where you will have those to-do boxes and areas to put your major to-dos for the month. So the month of December, we're going to get... Um, three areas okay so top here top here and then on the bottom three and you can use those however you want I usually put like the big tasks um, things that I'm considering um, for that month in those boxes so and then something else unique about it is if you've never seen these monthlies, um, the weeklies have it too, but I have not, um, the last two years, I have not ordered the weeklies because it just didn't work out for me. Um, but um, they they plot out the whole calendar here and, and going into, um, well, the whole month is on here in these numbers. And so you have one for 12, one through um, 31. Because the 31st ends on a Tuesday this year, the rest of the week is also going to be listed the days, the number days. And I mean, and I've never used these for anything specific, but you might come up with a way that you want to use it. Maybe um, one way to use this is if you have something significant planned um, for that month. One way you could use this is taking your highlighter. Maybe you use you do color coding, and so that you can easily see in your months without having to actually go, you know, open the actual page. If you use that, you know, your highlighter or whatever, and you can highlight the number. And so that when you're flipping, you can easily see, you know, you flip, 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 flip. Say if I want to see where I've already scheduled doctor's appointments and I know that my medical appointments are always going to be orange. And so I can just easily flip through here and I say, oh, I see orange here. And then I open up the page. I just thought of that too. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, you have all the months and th your months are going to go all the way to, I believe, March of 2026. So you get March to 2026. Okay. There you go. And then on the back of that page for 2026, um, it's grid paper with the orange line going across top. And you can use that however you want. And, and some of you are going to say, I can't write that tiny. You don't have to. You don't have to stick with only one row of the grid. You can use as many rows of the grids that based on your writing style. Okay. So 
don't let these tiny grid numbers um, be a, you know, a deter from getting these inserts. Because here it is, they did give me a couple pages of those uh, grid papers. You get, what, about four? One, two, three, and then that one, front and back. Um, and then you get the um, age chart. Okay, so, yeah. And usually with the age chart, I put it in, in the front. These are all numbered as well, okay? Each page has a number. So we got the age chart, and on the back you have where you put your personal information. And hey, this is a Japanese product, but this is all in English. And then you get the magazine, and this is where I, I look through them and I find ones that I could use as part of my dashboard. So this is pretty, 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 pretty. <laughs> the magazine, Plotter magazine, and it has volume number 24, Bible size. And I like this picture, so I just go through these and I find ones that look cool. Like I would use this page. Actually, it shows a plotter. Oh, I like this too. I would use this page. And these are also numbered. Okay, showing you guys. Another page that can be used as a dashboard. As a, and, you know, and then you can use your translator if you are like me uh, to read the magazine. And then there's the other part of the month sample. Okay, so I have my 2025 uh, monthly inserts. And then the last thing I order are the blue paper. This is from the uh, Project Blue <coughs> release. Um, and these are the blue paper refills. And this is um, number 000. And these are going to be the four quadrant graphs. Okay, um, we have information on the back about this, and it talks about the grid lines that divide the page into four. Okay, it's just that sample page. And it also shows how um, you can put it in the planner, how you can use it. And it says his refill memo pad is glue bound on one side and can be used on its own. It could also be used by removing sheets and placing them in a binder. All right. So like I said, you can take the whole pad because it's nicely put together and just use this throughout the day and then Take the pages out and store them, or you can take out what you need and put in your binder and use it that way. And so these are going to have those really tiny grids again, but you do not, you're not bound to just that kind of tiny row um, of on these pages. So it is divided with this line. You can also ignore the quadrant lines and just use it as a full page. Um, you have that slash here for the date and it's simple as that. So if you're if been in the planner community long enough, you can use the four quadrant type of planning. So like it's divided like, gosh, I'm trying to remember like uh, most important, um, important, delegate, da, 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 whatever you can use that type of planning to list things to go in the individual boxes and then go back and say, okay, this is thing, these are things I must get done. This things I can talk to a colleague about, and delegate that. This is important, but I don't need to actually get it done maybe at the beginning of the week, but it is important to get done this week. And then these things, I don't really need to do it you know so you can use it kind of like as when you're doing your brain dump you can also take turn the page this way and then you can use it this direction and then maybe you were going to use one area for um 
uh, your weekly review. This section can be about how you did overall. How did you do about your health? What's something great that happened? What's something new that happened? Uh, maybe you use it for um, your scripture reading. Um, whatever. So I haven't decided how I'm, I might use these yet, but I wanted to get the blue. <laughs> so that is it, you guys. That's what I have ordered this year. Um, I ordered my refills and two one product being new for me in just the size which is the narrow size um to do list sheets um i am so excited i'm so glad i saw that video um the blue project papers are new to me and then um I have my monthlies. There we go. For 2025 to go in my plotter. As well as, again, you can use your plotter papers in any personal size binder if you buy the Bible size. And they do have A5 size and they have narrow. They have, pop, they have many. Please go to the planner. Um, to the plotter website for information the the inserts maybe you might only want to start with the inserts first to see if you like their products that's my suggestion first because the rings are very little if you are somebody who likes to have the big fat you know notebooks binders um this system might not be right for you but the inserts might and the inserts are very reasonable they range from, you know, around 620 um, on up to a little bit more for your, and I wrote it down, um, the monthlies in the Bible size were 780 and then the weekly schedule, I think were a little bit more and I did not write that size down because I didn't buy them. But otherwise, um, these inserts are very reasonable in prices. Start with their inserts. See if you like the paper. Um, these aren't pure white. Um, they are like a light cream colored insert. So start with their inserts first is my recommendation. Um, look at various um, videos on YouTube to see what you know how they're using their plotter and if you're not already part of our Japanese uh, planner Jipun Tacho Japanese planner Facebook group the information is down below to join our community of people from around the world that love Japanese um, stationery um, and then the accessories we use with our Japanese products um, we are team Japan <laughs> So, uh, thank you for coming back. Please hit the like button, um, subscribe, hit the bell so that you know when I'm back on because this is just the start of my 2025 um, planner purchases. Um, and I'm really excited to show you guys what I have and talk about um, how I'm going to use them. So, thanks again. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.